well hello hello everyone welcome back to the channel miss crochet and coffee here and as you can see we have two more beautifully illustrated books by alina lazariva she sent these over to me to show you guys so thank you again alina i greatly appreciate it i didn't even realize that she had christmas coloring books so yeah and you don't i mean you see some christmas coloring books but i like grayscale uh, nothing wrong with line art or, you know, color and fill, whatever you want to call it. But I like grayscale. And I've been practicing with my color pencils. And don't worry, I will color a picture out of each of these and then put them up. Or you'll see it for a Mindful Monday or something. But you will see these, especially during the upcoming month here of December. If you're watching this when I actually put it up. So, let's take a look. Which book should we look in first? I'm excited. How about the one with the cute little puppy husky? All right, so we're going to put this one off to the side, plus the mailman kind of squished this one, so it's like rolled. But we're going to take a look at this one first. It's called Christmas Surprise, Grayscale and Line Art, which is why I like this book, because you're not just getting grayscale, you're getting line art as well. So you get a, a, a variety of both. And as you can see, I haven't even looked in these because I haven't cracked the spine on them yet. So Christmas Surprise Coloring Book, Grayscale, and Line Art includes two full sets of 21 amazing illustrations. And then it has all her details and information, which I will have her Etsy shops and her Facebook page and her Instagram and all that fun stuff in the comment section or the description box. You know what I meant. All right, so let's get started. Are you guys ready? I'm excited. All right, so this picture here, we got a little girl at the toy store and she's playing with the little dollhouse. Uh, me, personally, I would have went for this cute little squirrely bunny thing over here. Not sure what's up with the rooster. Look, got Christmas stockings and the boy and, well, the boy and girl bunny. Got a little snowman down here. I'm not sure why he was wearing mittens because he's a snowman. Got the little tin man. Not tin man. Little drummer boy. That train. Bro, watch out for that train. You're going to trip and fall. Love that little dollhouse. And, oh, now that's cool, Alina. That's cool. So then you also have that image in line art. Oh, I wonder if all the images are like that. That is cool. All right, so then we have this baby bird or this chick. And we got a sled with some presents. And we got the little, um, not it's not garland. The little string with all the little decorations on it with the heart and the reindeer. Reindeer down here and a lantern. Look, he has on boots. And he got a little scarf and hat. Ooh. Okay, so I guess not all the images are like that. Then we have this beautiful young lady here sitting next to the fireplace in the Christmas tree. She has some, I'm going to say these are poinsettias because Christmas time I know the flower is poinsettia. There's there's a deer in her house. She might want to check that out. Um, there's a baby deer. I'm not sure if it's real or not because this isn't grayscale, so it's hard to tell. But uh, yeah, but she's in like, not like a log house, but she's in like a wooden house. She has like the wood planks back here. Uh got the seat here with the holiday uh, pillows. You got the stockings hang, hung with care. And then you have on top of the mantle here, you got some more uh, Christmas decorations. Why do I keep talking about Halloween? Oh, look, you got a little gingerbread man. Run, run as fast as you can. Aw. And then you have these separate little ornaments. You got a little uh, bird and a stocking and a Christmas tree and a little reindeer. Another reindeer head and snowman and Santa and ice cream. Oh, uh, look at that. That doesn't just yell Christmas. So you got the flower, fireplace roaring. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? And then you have like the garland here with the stars and the Christmas tree. You got some more stockings up here and the candles. Uh, the fireplace is obviously brick and they got the stars around it. You got Santa here holding a gift. And then you got some more gifts here on the ground with some uh, tree decorations and the teddy bear with the, it's the mama bear and the, the baby bear. Oh, well, why is Papa Bear gone? Why is he looking from afar? Papa Bear, come down. <gasps> oh. And then you got the little snowman here and you have this little fox. And you have the two birds, which I'm not sure why, again, oh no, you got five birds. You got two here, two here, and then one there. You got some Christmas stuff scattered around on the snow no here uh snow sorry my words are not want to come out today and then you got a little basket over here and the snowman's got a scarf and uh poinsettia i'm gonna guess that's a poinsettia and then you have like a little ornament here on its hand with a little house 
you guys. I'm so ready for Christmas. And then you have it in line art. Okay, I like the fact that she put some of the images in grayscale and line art. I do like that. That's pretty cool. And then you got Santa here, and there's a little owl and a snowman and a little bunny. And it looks like they're on a wreath. And then he has like a slice of orange and some candy and the Christmas bulbs. That owl's looking like a hey, Santa. You got the bird over there. You might want to catch that. Oh, I love this. You got the birdhouse with the poinsettias on it. And the birdhouse is decorated. And it's got some bird CD here so it can eat. Oh, look, they got a little fireplace. Their house is already better than mine. And then they got the little tree here with the star and some candy. And the birds are all over it. That's cute. I like that one. Aww. You got a reindeer? Not sure, but he got, looks like the reindeer has some boots on. And then you have a poinsettia hanging here and a little saddle with the leaves on the front of the reindeer's chest. And then the reindeer's antlers are decorated. It's looking like, why did they, why did they decorate me like this? Why? And you got the Christmas ornaments and stuff hanging from his antlers and his ear. And look, the little tag that they usually tag the deers with has like a little star on it. They try to make them festive. Oh, we got the little girl here. Looks like she's playing with some Christmas ornaments. I'm not sure if I was a kid, I'd be playing with the ornaments. Look at all these toys, and you're playing with ornaments. Put those ornaments down. Get this little snowman and Santa Claus over here. You got little ornaments hanging from the tree, little owls and a rocking horse and a little star, sun and, or moon and star. You guys know I love celestial stuff. Oh, look at the little snowman. You got the cute little bunny holding a carrot, and you got some berries over there, and some candy, and a star hanging from its hat. It's got, it's got like a little shawl on, and then you got like some holiday fruit. And then you got this owl that's wondering why it's in this picture. <laughs> the owl's face. And you got the candle here. That is adorable. All right, and then we have, you might think that's a kid. That is not a kid. That is an elf. So you got the little elf here. And it looks like it's trying to race this reindeer. And the reindeer's got a look on its face. Look at the reindeer's face. Look. You ain't winning, kid. You ain't winning. Move you back up so you can actually see what I'm doing here. Oh, they have it in line art, too. That's so cool. I really, really like that. I really like that she did that. That's really cool. And then the image from... And if, actually, if you... uh. I just noticed this with this book, the, the cover of it, and the other one, too. If you actually see a picture of Elena Lazareva, these faces look like her. To me, they look like her. But you have this lady here, and she's opening gifts with her little puppy. Look at her little puppy. And then she has the house decorated with Christmas stuff, and then you got the garland, and the stockings, and the candles, and the fireplace, and the ornaments, and the gifts, and the little doll here. Oh, then she did it in line art. That's really cool. If you can't tell, I really like that feature. Oh, look at the little puppy. It's got a little puppy and a reindeer, a little snowman. And the puppy has on a Christmas hat. Aw. Ooh. You got some cowboy boots here that are decorated with Christmas stuff. You got bows and... Looks like, a, looks like somebody's kid got mad at them because they wouldn't put the tree up when they wanted them to. So they stuffed all the Christmas ornaments and stuff in the shoe. You got candy cane and flowers. This is our this is like a Texas Christmas right here. <laughs> oh, look at the little girl. She's so excited. She's like, I got a present. You know you're sitting on a present, right? She's like opened up all these other presents. She got candy over here. She got this little stuffed animal here. This little choo-choo train and the Christmas bulbs. Nice big Christmas tree, and she's shaking the gift. You remember doing that as a kid when you get a gift, your parents gave it to you, you shook it like you could figure out what it was, and you were always wrong. At least I was always wrong. I, was, I sucked at guessing what was in my Christmas gifts. And then you got this little bunny here and a little piggy. And then you have the Christmas ornaments hanging from the top here with this little rooster. What's up with the rooster? What does roosters have to do with Christmas? Somebody write that down in the comments. And then you got this little bell and the Christmas ornaments. He's got a little candy. And look, it's stitched to his hand, so he can't let it go. He's like, I will forever have this candy. And then that starts the second set of pages. And then, of course, those were in grayscale in the first part. And you can color them in line art here. 
and then like I said, you can see that it's just the second set of pages, and then it gives you more uh, information on Alina Lazariva, and then more of her coloring books. At this point, it's like Pokemon. I gotta collect them all. And then it gives you on the back of the book uh, what is in this book. So Christmas Surprise is this book. And don't worry, for those of you wanting, I will go ahead and link it down in the description box. So the next one we're going to look at is Winter Wonderland. So this is another holiday collection book. Again, the mailman kind of had this one all kind of wonky. And this is another grayscale and line art illustration. <gasps> Ooh, I'm going to break the spine on that right there. And this one has 23 images. Oh my goodness. It says happy coloring. And then we have this little kitty cat here and all the gifts. You know this cat's about to mess some stuff up. Look at it. It's waiting for you to turn around so it can tear that Christmas tree down and set the house on fire with that roaring fire. Nice garland here. I, I always wondered if people were scared to put garland on their fireplace and then turn the fireplace on because what if it falls? Like, what if, like, the 3M tack things that you use aren't strong enough to hold the garland because you being so extra with all the ornaments on it and it falls down, but then a piece of it falls in the fireplace and then your whole house catches on fire? Nobody wants a burnt-up house for Christmas. Oh, wow. Okay, I don't think I've seen her books like this before. Uh, the back of the page is black. Well, that's cool. All right, and then we have Santa here, and Santa's got all kinds of Christmas around him. He's just all Christmas all day. He got poinsettia in his hair. He got the snowman, the lantern. He got birds, deer. Like, what's up with all the woodland creatures that are supposed to be hibernating being in these pictures? <laughs> and then we got, like, candy hanging out of his beard. Oh, that's so cool. And see, I like the fact that she gives you the variety to figure out uh, if you want to do line art, if you want to do grayscale, you got a little bit of both, a little bit of both flavors in there. And then we got the Christmas tree here, and she's kneeling on the Christmas present to put the bulb on the tree. She has on one of those Bill Cosby sweaters. If you don't know who that is, look it up. Uh, and the funny thing is, I was scared just now. Like, I, my, I went into mommy mode when I seen this, because I'm like, dude, what if she falls through the box? A little snowman down here. Uh-oh. And then we got Santa in his sleigh with the reindeer, and we got the kids playing, and the dog's like, hey, y'all don't see that, snow that, that Santa Claus behind y'all? Y'all don't see Santa? Even the snowman's like, I see him. Just saying. That's what's happening in the picture, folks. I can only tell you what's happening in the picture. And then we have this line art here that is gorgeous with the Christmas presents and the basket of kitties. What's cuter than a basket of kitties? Probably a basket of puppies. And then we have the fireplace with the stockings, and we have the angels on the here on the mantle here, and then the decorations on the top. Oh, look, a basket of puppies. Somebody told me that, I think they said it's a Sharpe is the puppy. And this is like a French bulldog. This looks like the bulldog that the lady from uh, Diamond Art Club has. And then we have... Uh, the Christmas ornaments on the tree here and the puppy. This puppy sleep. He don't care what's going on. This puppy's just like, I need to go potty. <laughs> and then we have some more line art images here. And it looks like they're celebrating. Uh, they don't, they're not celebrating Christmas. He has like bread or something. And she has, it's like a tea kettle with a top, a cup on top. And she looks like she's just dancing around. She's just happy for the holidays. And then we have some birds here, and they've decorated their birdie house. And again, with the fireplace, that's better than mine. And uh, my fireplace is fake, y'all. I can't, I got a Maggie. I can't have a real fireplace. So I'll have to live vicariously through these images. Oh, no, I love that. This will probably be the first image I color out of this book. Uh, this is a mom and her son sitting by the fire with the, the, the dog. Got the Christmas presents underneath the tree and some toys over here with the lantern. Got candles on the mantle and the decorations on top here. Really like that image. That's probably one of my favorite ones so far. Oh snap, we got Sleepy Kitty. Sleepy Kitty in the stocking. And we got this little dove here in the, uh, the rocking horse with the little berries on top there. What are the berries called from the uh, poinsettias? Or the berries that are usually with the poinsettias. 
And then we just have two Christmas ornaments here that are decorated with all kinds of stuff. Almost like a mandala, but not in a circular motion. This one actually looks like a mirror copy of the other side. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, girl. Alina, girl. What you doing? <laughs> we have this sexy Santa decorating the Christmas tree. And I say sexy Santa because, look, she got, she got the little stockings on. Santa baby. That's my favorite Christmas song ever. And I know she was singing it. Look at her. She looks like she just finished singing it. That and it's cold outside. What is your favorite holiday song? I'm not going to say Christmas because I know a lot of people don't celebrate Christmas. But if you have a favorite Christmas song, put that down. If you have a favorite holiday song, put that down. And don't forget the Temptation Silent Night. If you don't know what that is, look it up. And then it says Merry Christmas. Oh, we got the line art reindeer. He's happy. Look at him. He's got all this decoration over here. He's like, mm, those oranges look delicious. <laughs> he got his antlers decorated and he got a little necklace thing going on around his chest. Um, these people are celebrating and then so are these bears. This bear down here has like a, a satchel of candy, it looks like. I think Winnie the Pooh has stolen somebody's candy. And then you got this bear. I'm not sure what it's doing, but y'all need to watch out. Yeah, lady, I... Yeah, tell him to stop playing before that bear takes that accordion. And then we got the Christmas stocking and line art here. I really love the fact that she did grayscale and line art. That is so cool. I, I don't have any other books like this. And then we got the gentleman here. This is one of the first Im uh, images I've seen with just guys. So it's these gentlemen here dancing. And then they got some uh, fawns here in front of them with some squirrels and of course it's winter time he's got a tambourine so they're like this one has a, a horn of some sort i don't know what the name of it is i'm pretty sure somebody else does if you do leave it down in the comments folks oh we got three little snowmen aren't they cute and they got like little decorations this one has snowflakes this one has flowers and stars and they each have something different a bell an ornament and a candle and this one has a big old present. This, I believe, is a lady from the front. Is that a lady from the front? Yeah, it is. I could never get it to look like that. But it's still super cute. Is that a hat? I think that's a hat. Yeah, it's a hat. And she's decorating her Christmas tree with her basket of ornaments. Ooh, line art, Christmas tree. I like how it's not connected and everything is all separate. So you can just go through and color everything its own color. I like a lot of color in my pictures, if you can't tell. These little kids playing in the snow with the birds. And they have a sled with some presents on them. Looks like they're trying to feed the birds. That's cute. They're bundled up. This one ain't got no gloves on, though. Hey, where are your snow gloves? They probably took them off to feed the birds because sometimes gloves... They scare birds. And it says Merry Christmas and you have some sweet treats here. Mmm. Now I want cake. <laughs> we have a cupcake here, a heart-shaped uh, treat here, and then these two little cakes over here. Ooh, we got some more sweet treats. We got cupcakes. These give you some ideas for cupcakes to make for the holidays. Somebody make me this Christmas tree cupcake and take a picture of it. And then we have a snowman and a Santa and then one with poinsettia. This reminds me of a Christmas story. For, for 20 cool points, why does this one remind me of a Christmas story? So we have this little girl here and she's got her pretty dress on. She's opening her gift. We got some stuffed animals and a baby doll. Uh, we got some candy and some Halloween, or not Halloween Christmas decorations up top here. And then we got this cute, adorable little kid in his bunny costume. And then it starts the second set of pages. And as you guys know, you can uh, go through with any medium you would like and maybe try it again on the other page. And then we have some more uh, funny animals. Hold up, that was her book? I might have to check that out. But here are some more books by Elena Lazareva and then some more information on her. Again, I will leave all her deets down in the description box below. So thank you very much to Alina for sending these out to me. They are absolutely wonderful. And on the back, of course, it will show you what all is included in these books. So again, folks, thank you so much for watching. I will have both these books, Winter Wonderland and Christmas Surprise, linked down in the description box below. 
But as for me, that's it. That's all I got for you today. So thank you so very much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down in the comment section below. But with that said, if you're not already a subscriber and would like to subscribe to see more random crazy videos just like this one, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me, it's random. With that said, again, a huge thank you to Miss Lazariva, Lazariva and to all of you for watching. And as always, like I try to remind you every time, be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys.